Hello Diamonds and welcome back to Ecopy Season 6. Today's mission for me is pretty much to start building the greenhouse here. Because I feel that we have enough money to at least get some basic construction done. So what I know about the greenhouse is that it requires a tier 1.7 with at least 75% glass. Of course greenhouse glass is the easiest but we can use any glass. So even the tier 2 one that we normally have. The greenhouse glass is tier 3. Or if we really want to spend more money, we can get the frame glass that is tier 4. But anyway, to, to even go and get some of the ingredients, I would need a truck. And for some reason, truck has gone fully missing. And the reasoning is quite interesting. It's because the game has decided to to make it fly away a bit so it's on the other side of the bee in the water somewhere so i need to go and pick it up and i'm not even sure if i can because it probably has quite a bit of fuel inside so i will quickly run through here and i think there's someone else's truck down there as well not only ours so yeah as everyone can see there's a lot of stuff there so neko the cat's steam truck is also hidden down here which is like why and yeah i think yeah, i i have too much coal in the machine so i need to run around a bit just to get it out and yeah some of the strange collision bugs that the game has the they kind of make life more difficult. So I don't understand why sometimes people are too fed up to continue. And even for me, sometimes it's a bit too much. So I have to run around and do everything. But on our way, we can also see what Leo has done with the monument area. The fountain is all up and running, looking beautiful. And yeah, some gardening has been done. And there's a lot of promising stuff happening here as well. So probably we'll have two different levels of viewing. So I'm not fully sure what goes in the middle here. Is it different rock or some type of glass? Well, either way, I already know that it will be good looking. And yeah, even on the outside, looks quite nice with the concave areas. Yeah, well designed. But let's grab our truck. Okay, we got it. What is the best way to even get out? Because I need to go and buy everything right away. So what I've been thinking is that um, I will get uh, some ashlar for like the corners and like some other pillars. So it kind of looks much bigger. I can't go up that way. This way, oh no. So it probably is uh, uh, good at uh, getting, especially as I might want to use uh, uh, the, <coughs> the regular class due to the price, of course. Okay, they're now running. So, I think maybe we could get from here something. Let's see. Because I noticed that there was something. We <laughs> said this is the only place where we can get, and yeah, maybe we can later order some other stuff as well. <clears throat> so, I don't want too many. I think I will take like. 20 it's already quite expensive so it's good to make the frame and to get the class let's see where is the best class uh, we can buy for one in either walmart or frosty village 
Okay, in fact, we'll go to Frosty Village. That's the support true. And maybe I will take something else as well. We'll see. Just mortar stone stuff. Let's go and see. Cause traffic. So yeah, Trues place I haven't visited since uh, uh, since we went there for the video. So I'm kind of uh, interested to know if much has changed. And this this road will be too long, I guess. We'll go on the main roads. Hmm. Welcome is corrected. Very nice. And the street signs are up as well. Really good. Mountain Park. Quite nice. Not really finished, but yeah. yeah. Having like some type of parks in game, it definitely makes it look more like real life. Even though there are some other things that are always off. But yeah, anyway, I will get to the shop and we can continue from there. So here we are, entering the village. It looks very, very nice. So there are a few changes that have been done. Like, for example, there's big parking area now. This is beautiful. And yeah, the white, it definitely makes it look, feel like really snowy. I kind of like it too much. So how many do we need? I think 300 about. Can we even take that many? Not sure. Would be good. Good. I always forget how much I can put on the truck. But yeah, anything else? Yeah, I don't really need the dirt at the moment. Unless I make uh, some type of bigger system later on. White bricks. Yeah. Maybe later I will add something. But anyway, on my way, I discovered that uh, there has been a lot of uh, road work that was done. Um, yeah, so the road is almost ready. There's still a few bits and pieces that need work. But definitely looks a lot better than what it was before. We no longer can get uh, duck inside. And yeah, we also have one new farmer. Who's right on the corner. Also quite quite well made building. The arcs, they do make it feel a bit better. Yeah, mixture of everything. And maybe in the future I might come by and buy something. Unless I make myself, of course. And yeah, here's the part of the road. So before we were going through a really narrow tunnel. Not anymore. So yeah, a lot better. I just saw that... Uh, there's a wrench made out of out of the concrete on top of the roof as well. It's quite a smart idea. I I didn't notice it before, so it might have been there when we were going around. I just feel that I'm often quite blind and seeing those things. Here is also some updates, it seems. And yeah, for the building that we are making, I also need to find some other bits and pieces. Like namely, I want to have probably some type of door, so I can take the tractor in. And uh, possibly I need to find a good way to put all the uh, sprinklers and stuff inside as well. So I haven't even checked if any are for sale 
If not, then we have to order from people who can do it. It would be a little bit challenging, I guess. Nevertheless, it will still be fun. This one I can move a little bit away. Because I need better access. Of course not directly on the road. It would annoy everyone. Okay. So what I was really thinking is that uh, the Ashler is on the corners. Let's see if there's any good corner piece. So probably this is the best, right? It doesn't look good because it has only on one side those bits and pieces. Hmm. And I can't see the the brace parts, the corner that would function. What about this? I mean, we we could have this type of block, I guess. So, or high. Maybe I even would need to have it outside instead. I will do that. Would give much more access. And I will definitely need to remove this ladder. It kind of doesn't fit really in. It's really wasteful. Because, yeah, we can't have open corners for, for that, that building, so. I think we can do about it. It needs to go. And I will possibly make this into Ashler as well. Just to get a little bit higher score. Because I think, yeah, that's all the Ashler we took. So at least four blocks I will change. I'm not even sure which blocks to take. Because <laughs> I might take uh, more blocks later. It does go there. Take the four blocks. And there's four pieces here. And now a little bit walls. It already starts to look something. Yeah, it will take a while, so I'll quickly uh, take a small gap and try to finish as much as possible. And then we can see how much more resources we will need. I'll be right back. I did manage to make quite a bit, but I'm still missing a lot of class. So I'll need to go and buy like over 200, maybe 225 or something. And I also need to get the doors. So at the moment I left this hole open so I can come in and out with my truck. But I think if I take a bit wider, I can possibly fit uh, one of the uh, corrugated steel doors. And yeah, I'm just thinking if I should only have one of those. I think if I only have one, it's probably better. And in such case, maybe it should be on that side after all. Because this is where I keep my tractor. So I think I will quickly make the hole. So as far as I remember, it is 4x5. So 20 blocks. And this way I can finish off this part. And also 
this wall. And we can also start thinking about the roof. I think I can use this block. Let's see how it looks. Because then it goes on top of those uh, cubes. Behaving a little bit strange. Let's see. Yeah, like this. And then, of course, all the lights and stuff, I will get a little bit lower, so to make it work. So I have to see with the tractor how low I can go. Because in mean, two blocks is probably maybe a bit too low. So I need to go for three blocks. Then the lights will cover like seven, seven by seven area with some corners missing. So I have to do calculation on on the extra stuff and yeah i did move my ladder away so it's no longer blocking but yeah before i can take the glass i will quickly go and buy one of the doors and i will go to leo's shop as he has some available and we can also see around what is being built over here wood and core incorporated it almost looks like abandoned building from this angle because the windows don't have any glass and some of the roof is missing but yeah it's just work in progress i guess so down this shaft is the mine that leo owns we do have access to that mine if we really need to mine some coal and stuff. I did mine a little bit the other day. But not much. You can see that this road has been upgraded as well. New walls and stuff. Really nice. And a lot of fencing. Yeah, many changes he has done in here. I mean downstairs it's really big as well. Most of it is not really visible for us. Okay. Do we need to move anything around? Maybe we can make some profit as well. Who knows? Not really. And yeah, most people don't want to pay that much. And Presix's place wants to get quite a lot of stuff. And could be some profits. So 20 pence each it could be some type of work to do but yeah and yeah leo is one of the cheapest yeah and he also has the sprinklers and lamps available so i will quickly take those and yeah if you really need at the end i will take some greenhouse glass as well but only if you really need it so I will get all the ingredients and then we can see we can make it all work. I managed to get the building done. I needed to change the hewn logs for breaks just to get enough the, uh, of the score. It's 171 out of the 1.7 so barely making it. And yeah so next step is pretty much to find uh, good pipes that we can use here. Because I think pipes also have some limitation. Let's actually quickly see. So iron pipe is tier 2. We can actually use this as well. Leo has quite few available. But a little bit pricey. I, I could ask him if he can provide for better price. So if he comes online then I might. Also there are some other stores that have a bit better price. But what about the steel? Steel is a little bit expensive still, so... So yeah, I'm not sure who can make those. I mean, here could possibly do as well. But steel itself is always really pricey on the server. Because it would be tier 3 and therefore would help us 
maybe a bit more but anyway this is something i will do off camera and yeah i have to also align all the lights and everything here so yeah it will take a little bit time i also need to put my bump somewhere so actually what i'm thinking is that possibly the pipe goes through the wall somewhere around here I, I will need to take maybe a few more claims to make sure that it doesn't have any issues because if i put through the ground it might might be a bit more complicated but well i think i still can make make it happen so not too much worries and yeah so we can keep the bump even inside so then it kind of makes more sense to have this type of corner here because otherwise it's just empty I put it so this is electric i was thinking about getting a mechanical one but it was a bit more driving and also electrical one doesn't require any windmills so it's it's gonna look a little bit more modern so at the moment it just says that no water connected but electrical power we have plenty so it's kind of good so maybe i will put some type of storage chest next to it so yeah so the corner will be just storage and yeah the lamps i mean i need to probably bring them a bit lower this so this is one off two off three off So yeah, I have, to, I have to see, because I, I might want to connect them to the same pipes, like visually, so it would look better. But anyway, I will leave the episode right here. Uh, for the next episode, I will probably do a bit more discovery of the server, so we can go around some other places. And I will also start planning maybe making another greenhouse, which should be much bigger. Something that could be shared with other people. So yeah, anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.